Okay, good afternoon. Friends, Romans and countrymen, bring your ears, no, lend me your eyes. This is Jamie Lecampo again, broadcasting um, different topics, Jamie Lecampo live. We're late, uh, at home. we had a regression session earlier, a fantastic session with of Quezon City. And uh, this afternoon, I, there was a suggestion by one of our well, watchers, one of our listeners in this program, to talk about uh, elementals or nature spirits. So, okay, I'll, I'll just talk about what I know about elementals. And if you have any questions, and let, let me know, or just, just flush it in, or, so we can discuss this. Elementals are, uh, well, sometimes called nature spirits. No? And there are uh, four types of elementals corresponding to the four elements, the essential elements no? of nature. These are, for example, uh, the el elemental of earth, which are the dwarves and gnomes, the elemental of uh, water, which are the undines, the elemental of, of air, so the fairies, and elemental of fire, which are salamander, not, not, not the animal, but there's a kind of um, mysterious creature, the salamanders, that live in fiery places, hot hot springs, lava, they are called salamanders. They live in that, uh, in, 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 in this hot, very hot places. But what are these elementals, where they come from? Well, there are theories about it, and uh, these are theories. One of those who wrote about the elementals was um, this 15th century uh, mystic, and um, how do you call it? Um, can you imagine? I forgot his name, this mystic, who wrote about it, wrote extensively about it. He was actually a scientist, but he was more known for his uh, mystical uh, writings. And uh, he mentioned that um, elementals are also created by God. And it is possible that they were created together with the uh, angels no? and other spirits. And according to him, uh, th these elementals have only one, one element or one uh, nature. Whereas in the case of uh, human beings, they have two natures, the Adam, the Adamic nature and spirit. In their case, there is the idea only the spirit. And uh, according to him, the um, elementals try sometimes to possess or make love or sex with human beings in order to reject the hybrid of the Adamic soul, which they do not have. Interesting theory, but of course we cannot prove this. Elementals are present in uh, nature, but also can be found uh, inside the house. The elemental of earth, for example. And uh, what, what, what are they? What do they do? They're a part of nature, and therefore they, they partake or they cultivate or balance nature. They're, they're a balancer of nature. So the elementals of the earth, the, the dwarves, help in the cultivation of vegetation. The elementals of water are the undine sirens, and uh, maybe mermaids can be classified as such, no? are uh, also contributing to the balance of uh, the marine, marine life, and so on. One of the most problematical uh, uh, 
is the encounter with uh, dwarves. There are some dwarves that are supposed to be bad, the black ones, and there are some dwarves that are good, ones with colored green, yellow, uh, red, and you know, these bright colors. And uh, how do you know if there are elementals in your house? There are certain indications of uh, the presence of elementals in the house. One is uh, sometimes you feel you, you smell some something like what they call alimum, or I don't know how to call it in English. It's a kind of smell after the rain, for example. There's dry land and the air there, and there's certain kind of smell. That kind of smell which is mud, mud like mud or sometimes smoke. If you smell this, then they're around. Also, they start to mimic the voices of people in the house. And you think somebody's calling you, but they're the ones that are calling. Many people have seen dwarves. I have not. I have seen some footsteps uh, of dwarves. I have seen uh, uh, an interesting case uh, we investigated uh, Gona Rizal a long time ago of um, small footprints on the cement. This cement is already hardened two years na yun, no? and it's, it's hardened, but then nagkaroon ng bakas or there, 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 there was this imprint as if it was soft. So that's quite impossible. And there were these footprints of uh, the dwarves. What, does, what, what do elementals do? As I said, is the, to balance nature. But in the case of uh, doors that are in the house, sometimes they can be problematical. Like in my house, I have problems. Sometimes uh, when a ball pen you will place in one place and then all of a sudden disappears, you find another place. There was a case uh, brought to my attention of uh, somebody living in a condo alone and no, he noticed that his dollars in his pocket or his wallet are becoming shorter by several dollars but he's alone and he knows he, he counts his money every day so he knows how much he has in his wallet and several times it was always lacking several uh, bills and so he came to me and asked what he can do. I said, well, one, one is talk to them and uh, implore that they don't do this. No? And uh, I think he did that and for a while it stopped, but then later on it was again uh, happening to him. So these dwarves are not really bad and they sometimes help people to be rich. No? and uh, many other things. There is a teenage woman, a teenage girl, I met some time ago because it's a very interesting experience with uh, elementals. And um, money will just appear somewhere in her pocket or inside her shoes no? when she needs money from 100 to 500 pesos. And it's very interesting because uh, when she needs money, it appears there. But it, 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 it only appears what she needs, no? Does not go beyond 500 pesos. Sometimes there, there was a time she was telling me they were going to, uh, they were going to do shopping or they wanted to eat some pizza, but they didn't have money. And when she looked at her pocket, put her hand in her pocket, she found 500 pesos, which is good for one family size pizza. So this thing, but otherwise there are some um, irritating habits of elementals, like taking objects, good if they return. But there are certain objects that I had, which I know I placed it there, and they did not return it anymore. 
So one was even a medicine for my throat. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what they're going to do with it. There are many stories about this type of creatures. What about the elementals of the the sea, the elemental of water? Because undines, sirens, mermaids are part of that uh, state of creature, but are there mermaids really? The sirens. This is part of Greek mythology, but there are people who claim to have seen sirens or mermaids in the sea. But then the skeptics are saying, no, that's not true. There is just the, was this type of uh, whale that sometimes looks like a human you know, in the Philippines. I have forgotten the name of this particular whale-like object, you know, which, is, which is only part of the Philippines sometimes mistaken to be a mermaid <laughs> so some people don't believe there is such a thing salamanders i don't think anybody has seen salamanders but they exist in hot springs and lava what was that question before i i did not read it can you flash it again i was didn't want to lose my thought uh see ernie no oh erin erin Sir Jimmy, is it true that elementals can get attached to humans? They seem to protect humans. They get attached to, and when that happens, hindi daw po makakasawa. Can we also choose to become elementals or reincarnated life natin? <laughs> okay, these are two questions, or three. Yeah, there have been stories of uh, women um, or the elementals falling in love with humans. And... Uh, and according to that mystic I was telling you about, who wrote the first about the 15th century uh, mystic and scientist, uh, he said that it's, it's possible, it happens. And why do they fall in love or why do they want to have these even children? Can, can they have children? Of course, scientists will say that's not possible because you, you can have only children with the same species, but not cross species. No? But uh, according to some legends, it is possible for elementals to marry or to beget children with humans. Whether that's true or not, there are stories about it, but nobody can prove it. But I think it is possible to have that kind of a relationship. Now, is it true that what when um, elemental marries or falls in love with a woman that woman cannot marry anymore yes that's very true because uh, the elemental will try to protect this woman uh, from other men try to separate them um there was a case of a, a woman that was what that elemental fell in love with she's married and uh, when because of this what they did what the elementals did was to make the woman smell bad smell really bad and uh, so that the man would not approach her so it took some time some exorcism to get rid of them but yeah they, they do make people separate there was also a case of uh, a young couple about to be married, they were engaged. They were so much in love. They went to a beach, I don't know, in the province for vacation. And when they came back to Manila, the girl would not would want to separate from the man. And uh, the boy, was, the man was saying, well, there was no reason for that. But she was adamant and, in fact, asked me, the, to intervene and do something about it. I said, I, I don't know what to do about this. I started to talk to them, to this elemental, to this dwarf, fell in love with his fiance. But the mother uh, did not want anything to be done and they separated, unfortunately. So it's true that uh, they can sometimes cause uh, problems in relationships. And then what is the last question? Uh, there's the last question. 
and uh, no, that was the previous one. Can we choose to become elementals and reincarnate? No, you see, I, I believe that it is possible for us to have come from animals according to evolutionary theory. I don't believe that, but if it is true, once we have achieved a human form, we will be human beings. We will not become animals or other creatures in the future. We will always be human until we reach a, a, a state where we can be united with God. Okay, next question. I totally agree, Sabine Gigi Alindogan. Elementals protect the woman he is in love with. Okay. <laughs> Romantic I don't know. George Ivan Abweg is asking, how are you going to deal with a mental you successfully possessed a human being? There are people who have the power over elementals. Not they have said, I don't know how they do it, but there are people who have power over these creatures. They could command them. So you're lucky if you meet somebody like that with that kind of power. People who have psychic abilities, clairvoyance, and you can see them and talk to them, will be able to help you. Not any, any not, not just anybody. Okay, George, how are how are you going to implement it? That's already finished. So Dennis, Dennis, the Mabi elementals are creations of God. Do they also have free will? If so, are they subject to natural laws and are accountable to God? Uh, regarding free will, I think he, they have, a, a free, that's my, my opinion, they also have free will and therefore subject to natural law. Yes, they're accountable to God. That's why they're punished also. There is some punishment being done to elementals by their hierarchy. No, they're not supposed to intervene or to interfere with humans. They're supposed to be only functioning in their own sphere or dimension. When they cross over, that's a violation of the rules, and so they can be punished. Okay. Now, Gigi Alindogan again asking, elementals are disturbed in the habitats like forests being developed. These are orbs. Uh, there, there are orbs in Tagaytay Highlands. Oh, there are orbs everywhere not only Tagaytay Islands. And there are three kinds of uh, orbs, or three recent ones. There are spirits of the dead, elementals, and we found out extraterrestrials. So these are the kind of uh, you know, spirits that appear as orbs, or this white spot in pictures. I don't see much of it now, no? but about uh, 10 years ago, or 15 years ago, there are so many elementals uh, or orbs that appear in pictures. I have quite a number of them, but I don't see them anymore. No, I don't know where they went, <laughs> or maybe because of the digital, or I don't know, they, they don't appear anymore. Okay, BP Hoxon says, Are the footprints of the world is life? Huh? Like that of a child, yes, but five years old. Because we have the same in our house before. Handprints and footprints appear on walls, climbing up the wall. Our wall is unpainted before. Yes, they, they do, they can climb walls. And I have seen it in one house where there are several elementals. And it's like one interesting case. See, they were painting the house, you no? Know? And then uh, I think one elemental dipped maybe accidentally or on purpose, dipped his feet on the paint, I don't know, paint <laughs> container of paint and started walking uh, on the floor and then going up the, the wall uh, with, the, with the paint. You know? So that was quite an, I saw this thing myself to somebody, I think in Paranyake. It was a long time ago when I was called upon to investigate this phenomenon. Justine Henry Ortega said, good day, Sir Jimmy. I want to buy your book about elementals. Do you have one? Thank you. Yes, but you know, it's out of print. I wrote a book called Dwarves 
what they are and their importance to man dwarves and other elementals no? and other nature spirits what they are and, and and their importance to man this was commissioned to me by the president of rex publishing and for two years i did research unfortunately even I, before this broadcast i was looking for my copy and probably the elementals got them because I, they always get lost i will put another one and then all of a sudden it will disappear we have no more copies of this i don't know try to try rex publishing because sometimes they they sometimes some publishers print without without telling the author but i don't know what they're, they're doing this i'm not accusing them of anything um uh, they're quite honest people but uh, you can ask them there might be some hidden in their bodega it's it's full color it's coated paper it's full illustration it's a beautiful book jenny ginto said hi sir jimmy good day are the elementals considered higher forms of high frequency they're not really high frequency they are in another dimension and therefore well it is a different frequency than humans so they're not really higher or lower but different vibration okay can you cut this off i have i'm sorry my i got to sneeze <laughs> okay justin henry or the dugong hi you're referring to this um, creature that looks like and you know, thank you very much yes i think that's dugong never digong yun and digong yung presidente natin yata yun <laughs> sorry <laughs> Jenny Ginto asking, hey, he said, good day. Would you consider elementals as higher forms of beings? Considering that they can manifest such things. Not, not really. I think um, human beings would still be in the hierarchy. Would probably be higher. But because they are spirits, mostly spirits, and only partly uh, only very partly physical therefore they can have attributes or qualities of spirits and in, in in that sense they are higher in that sense but that necessarily means that they're better or they're more perfect it doesn't mean so it doesn't if we go into a spirit world if you go into astral world for example you can do things in the astral you cannot do uh, in the physical so there are powers of the spirit world and there are powers of the material world and so if you are in the spirit world you can do things that can be done in the material world so that's the difference okay now where are we so how how do we deal with them there are many ways one is talking to them and um asking somebody who can see spirits to talk to them Rod Anova is asking what kind of elementals is a gene I don't know I have never met a gene <laughs> I only know gene from stories of uh, the, the, the from the Muslim religion uh, they believe in a gene or genie you know? are the elementals in there they're the different kind of creature they, they really don't belong to the usual classification of elementals so i don't know how to classify them but they exist no this type of just like angelic creatures but they're not angels but some spiritual being and they, they the stories that they even can be caught and placed in a bottle or on the bottom oil <laughs> yeah oil, oil can no? like uh, the aladdin story kevin patrick salem you sir jimmy good afternoon soto ba ang sabi ng mga matatanda nakapag may buntot na ang buhok sa likod na pitinda ng elementals <laughs> i don't know about that and there are many um, stories many 
speech about them because they they cannot be seen by people and there are several types of this there is capra is one another elemental which is interesting and the people do not believe that there is capra they live mostly in big trees and in my research about elementals i had an interesting story to tell about capra i met a 70 75 year old farmer in um, I think he said, I think I was in Iloilo. And this farmer was uh, riding his carabao one time and stopped at the big mango tree in the farm. And then he saw a capre in the tree and befriended him and they became friends. And um, one time, this, this farmer smoked. He had no lighter or match to light his cigarette. He saw his friend, the Capre, smoking a cigar. And he was able to light his cigarette from the tobacco of the Capre. And he was telling me this story. No? And I believe him. He was a very honest person. He wasn't joking. He was very serious. And uh, he said, this Capra has helped him a lot. That was an ilo ilo. Okay. So then it's Mabi again. Then thanks, Paul, sir, Jimmy. Say Paracelsus, young Mr. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Dennis. Uh, I, I missed. Alamo, at this age, my memory is not as good as before. So that's your right. Paracelsus is the mystic of the 15th century scientist and mystic who wrote about the characteristics of elementals and nature spirits. And his classification still stands, still being followed by many. Yeah, Paracelsus. Diego Villanueva, five. Oh, I live near, but. Uh, but near two balete trees I am I am 13 Napo and I see the elementals good thing they are good ones oh you're very lucky Diego that you can see them yeah they can be very good we don't have time anymore uh, for this I'd like to thank everybody for their uh, questions and I'd like to announce our online seminar on soul mage karma and reincarnation on February 27, Saturday, from 2 to 5 p.m. For details, you call the following numbers 0998 6292. That's 0988. No, 0998 6292. Or 8810-7245. And then we also have another announcement. Uh, we have books, meditation tapes, or USB, and we have pendulums uh, that are for sale. And uh, just call these numbers I told you and for, for orders. What else do we have? We have many things. <laughs> and uh, regression and consultancy. Where can we purchase your books? Here in our office, uh, there are some, and uh, National Bookstore has some, but mostly out of stock. We always out of stock there. So what we do, we bought some of them, and we're selling it to here with autograph. That's the difference. If you buy it from us, I can sign the books that you have uh, bought, and you can call up the numbers eight one zero seven two four five. Or if you want, you can email my email address at haimatilekauko at zero, haimatilekauko at yahoo.com. Can Rex Bookstore Publishing Company print your beautiful book? I, Nako, I don't know because uh, I have no contact with them anymore, but I wish they would they would uh, consider because there's so many people looking for this book. It's a beautiful book. You're right. Well printed, well illustrated. It's like a foreign book, actually. And uh, Siam, 
So many people need this book. And I hope Rex is publishing. Mr. Buhain, Attorney Buhain, the president, I hope he's watching or somebody who knows him will ask him to reprint the book. Thank you for the suggestion, Justin. So this is Jimmy DeCalco signing off for now. See us again on Monday afternoon.